All right, guys, welcome to Vlogtober Day 18. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? Listen, y'all, I'm finna let y'all see some baby girl. Um, learn how to tie her shoes, y'all. So she tied her first, and I'm gonna let y'all see it. But before we get into this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl, Maika, darling. Like, why wouldn't you? You feel me? Like, I've been dropping these videos back to back for the whole Vlogtober. So, yeah, y'all, let's just get right into it. Let me show y'all what my baby girl doing. What's the next step? Bunny three. ears. My baby three, y'all. She'll be four um, next month. Her and baby boy birthday is actually six days apart, y'all. Next month. Bunny ears. Okay. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Do the bunny ears again. You just cross the top. There you go. Y'all, yeah. come below if y'all hit that bell. Ding, ding. This one. This one. Oh, cool. Let's see. Did you, yeah. Okay. Can you double tie it? Okay. Hey, double tie. First thing I got to try, y'all. Y'all, I got to try this. Y'all, but I can't do it. I can't do it. You out. can do it. Go ahead. Good job. Good job. All right, y'all. We're going to get ready and run to the school. What's on now? We're gonna get ready to run to the store real quick. Uh, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna give y'all the story time. Okay, I'm, I'm, what I'm gonna do for the next few days, I'm gonna give y'all the story time. Since I have three kids, I'm gonna give y'all the story times of their three kids. I'm gonna give you a story time of um, how I found out I was pregnant with them, plus their labor and delivery. So I'm gonna probably do Serenity today. We can do hers. We can do her um, labor and delivery story and how I found that I was pregnant with her. So give me two seconds, guys, and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So I'm back from the store. Now, I'm going to give y'all... This is a little story time on my baby girl, Serenity. Her, uh, when I found that I was pregnant with her and her labor and delivery. Okay, so boom. 2018. Y'all, I'm living in Arizona. This is like March 2018. You feel me? So, basically, me and Tom went into a heavy. We into a heavy, y'all. Like, for a whole three, four days. Like, we just into it, into it, into it. Like, I'm emotional. I'm crying. I'm spazzing. I'm, I'm just up and down. I'm up and down. So, we into it like, like crazy, y'all. And then, before that, I ended up being sick. Like, I was sick for about four days. I was sick for about four or five days, y'all. And after that, me and him started getting into it a couple of days after that. We was into it back to back to back. So I ended up going to the doctor, right? Just for a random checkup. I just, my, it's my appointment time, my checkup time. So I ended up going to the doctor and I'm done. I leave the office. I'm sitting outside. So as soon as I make it out the door, my phone rang. Boop, 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 boop. And I'm like, it's my doctor. Like, I literally just left. I'm literally right outside the, the door. I'm right outside the doctor's door. So, whatever, can you come back in? Um, we need to run another test. Uh, we didn't get enough sample for the first test, so we just need to do it again. She's like, it's normal. It's no problem. Okay, cool. I'll go back in and give another urine sample. They leave out. I hear them outside the door at the desk. Like, yep, yep. This will say the same thing. Say everything okay, so now I'm nervous. So... It literally takes them like two, three minutes. They come back in the room. She say, well, um, mommy, yeah, congratulations. You're pregnant. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm what? You're pregnant. 
Oh no, no, can't be, can't be, can't be. So boom, I uh, she tell me, okay, we're gonna give you ultrasounds, all of that stuff. Walk, bam. Okay, cool. Y'all, I'm five and a half weeks pregnant. Didn't even know. Five and a half weeks pregnant, y'all. I show tone. We discussed it, talk about it, because we didn't want no kids at the time. We was done. We had our boy. We had our girl. We was done. We didn't want no more kids. So, uh, yeah. So, I go home. I tell him. So, now we're talking like, yeah, just probably while you were sick, while you was going crazy this whole last couple of weeks. Like, okay, I understand now. I'm still working. I worked all the way up. We just, just going to jump to it. Okay, I found out I was pregnant. Bam, that's how I found out. We got into it. I went to the doctor. I leave. They call me to come back in, taking the urine test. Tell me, oh, well, yeah, the first one's positive. This positive, too. You're pregnant. Boom. Go get my ultrasound. I'm five and a half weeks. Bam, I'm back at home. Now, we're going to jump it to I'm working now, right? Well, I was working. I'm, I'm working. So, now I'm further along. So, I worked y'all all the way up until, I worked all the way up until four days before my due date. Like, every time I walked into my job, everybody was looking at me like, Mike, why you not at home? Like, why you keep coming here? Girl, because I got kids and I got to work, so that's why I'm going to keep coming here pregnant or not. This baby don't, what what's she stopping? She not going to stop my money? She need my money, so she not going to stop my money. You feel me? So, um, y'all, I was huge, y'all. I was huge, y'all. I was really, really huge. So... She uh she was my biggest baby, my third baby, my third and last, but she was my biggest. So bam, so I'm working. Um, I stopped working November twenty second. November twenty second, I stopped working, y'all. And then they was gonna send me home anyway. If I didn't stop, they was gonna say, okay, Mike, just know, don't come back in and take you off the schedule. But I told them keep me on because I want to work as long as I can because why not? I want no pain. I want no bed rest. None of that. I could work. I could get to work. I could get home. I'm good. And then I sat at the desk all night because I did medical transportation. So I was at the desk with a hair set on all shift. So just eating snacks and scheduling. So that's it. I'm not, it's nothing bothering me. So, um, all right, y'all. So yeah. So basically, uh, let me just give you a little backstory. So I was scheduled to have a C-section with Serenity. Boom, we go to the hospital, right? Now it's time for this surgery. I had to be there at 4.30. I'll never forget. I had to be there at 4.30. And I had signed some forms previously stating that I wanted to get my tubes tied because I won't have no more kids. So they brought them to me again. Boom, I signed those. I got prepped, everything. Now I'm just chilling, laying in the bed. So, okay, now it's time for, yeah. Only because um, of me being a diabetic. I have type 2 diabetes. So, okay, boom, it's November 22nd, last day of work. Thanksgiving literally was that Thursday. I stopped working that Tuesday. Thanksgiving was that Thursday, and um, which was the 24th. And then I had her that Saturday, I think it was a Saturday. Time to go down to have this baby. So I go into the room, y'all. It's freezing up. It's freezing, y'all. It's freezing, freezing, freezing in that room. So, they give me the shot on my back. It won the epidural. It was something else. But that, I forgot the name of the one that numbed me from here all the way down. So, all the parents out there, all the mommies, y'all had C-6s. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They uh gave me a shot on my back. Now, y'all, when he first put the, put the needle in my back and gave me the shot, it made my left leg kick straight out. Boom. I ain't gonna say it kicked out. It was it. Made my left leg move, and I had a pain go straight down my leg. So I'm, oh, wait a minute. Um, wait a minute. Like, that hurt. What is that? Like, I just had a pain in my leg. He was like, oh, my God. He's like, it's okay. It's okay. All right. So, yeah. So, boom, we in there. So, he do it again. And they instantly me down because they was like, okay, you're about to be numb, like, instantly. So, I instantly started feeling numb. And they laid me back. Tone sitting on the side. You know, they prepped me and everything. And so, uh, I say about a few seconds would pass, right? <clears throat> so, so I'm like, did they start yet? Like, what's going on? I'm like, I don't feel nothing. I mean, I know I'm not gonna feel nothing because I'm numb, but I don't hear nothing or anything. He was like, girl, they, they're basically pulling the baby out right now. So y'all, they had already cut through, cut through, already cut through the layer. They was pulling out. 
I felt a little, you know, felt a little movement. So that's not like, okay, yeah, they pulling her out now. So, okay. Okay, so. She her cry. She finally started crying and all of that stuff. You feel me? So now she's out. She finally started crying and stuff. So I hear her. The next thing after her cry, I hear Tom say, 10 pounds. Who 10 pounds? <coughs> I say, <coughs> who 10 pounds? I know it's the baby, but I'm I'm shocked. Ten pounds, three ounces, y'all, my biggest baby. So boom. So I'm sitting there, you know, tears coming down. I get to see it or whatever. Stitch me up, go to the recovery room. They bring her to me, all that stuff. I get to feed her, everything. You know what I'm saying? But by me being a diabetic and being on medicine, she was hypoglycemic. So, she was in the hospital a few more days. She's the littlest thing in the house now, which is crazy, but she was the biggest baby out of everybody. So, basically, I stayed in the hospital the full time. You know, sometimes they send mom home, you know, you get to come back and forth. No, what I did was, <clears throat> and I don't know if they let you do this out here in these hospitals or whatever, but... Once I was discharged, I just moved into her room. Since I was her parent, I was able to just move into her room, like, no questions asked. I'm I'm still an outpatient, but it's just like, you know, I'm the parent, so I get to just stay there, spend the night, whatever. So they just moved me into her room, and then I stayed there with her. Um, I stayed in her room until it was time for her to go. So that was like another three days. Another three days, y'all. So, And I'll go down there and sit with her. And don't forget, I, I had a C-section. So, I was supposed to have been doing all that walking as much as I was, but, I mean, I did because it helped. So, I was up walking, moving slow, slow, y'all. I was slow down. Seriously, I was slow down. So, <clears throat> I'll go down there, see her, take pictures with her, feed her, you know, let dad and everybody talk to her on the phone or whatever. And so, yeah, y'all, my baby came home on the... She was, she was born November 26th, and she came home. She was discharged December 1st because my brother came to visit me December 8th. It was literally a week. She was discharged December 1st. She was born November 26th. She was discharged December 1st. So we, my baby girl is just the greatest. Like, I love my baby. <clears throat> and when I tell y'all these kids, when they're born, y'all, believe it or not, like, my baby was two days old, y'all, holding her own bottle. Like, just holding it. Two days old, y'all. Serenity started walking. <clears throat> so it was crazy. My baby boy. My baby boy, my oldest, was eight pounds, seven ounces. My first daughter, she was seven pounds, eight ounces. Serenity was ten pounds, three ounces. But her and Tavion six days apart. Birthday six days apart. I just wanted to um just give y'all a little backstory on labor and delivery of my baby girl. You know, worked overnight. Um, nine to five thirty. It was nine to five thirty. So crazy. The only thing I could eat with her was Mexican food. Like every morning when I get off, y'all, I would go get me a burrito from this Mexican spot, or I would go to Taco Bell. No lie, I I I don't know what it was. But I had to have that. And gee, the burrito was like this big. I was I couldn't finish all of that. I'll at least eat more. I eat either half or like a little past half, and get the rest of the kids or to Tom. But I didn't. Mm -mm. I couldn't eat all of it. But I had to have it every morning, y'all. Either that or Taco Bell. Like I had to. And they knew me so well. Like at the Mexican joint, like when they see me coming, they already had my food ready. Because they knew I was pregnant. And so they already had my food ready, y'all. And going there, they open the doors for me. I go in there, get my food. Sometimes I sit there and eat, then go home, or I just get in and go home. But yeah, y'all. Like, that's all I ate with her. And eat. But it was wild, though, y'all. Like, <clears throat> I, wasn't even, I wasn't expecting to get pregnant or have another baby. And I did. You know, that's my last one. No more. Mm -mm. No way. She gets on my nerves, y'all. I swear to God, she gets on my nerves. But I love her to death. I love her to death. She's so smart and so intelligent. And I know people always say that about their kids. Like, and you should, but 
have a conversation with my kids and y'all decide for y'all so have a conversation with my girl yeah y'all i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna end this right here i just want to give y'all a quick look story time for today and this is officially vlogtober 18 you feel me going strong y'all i'm dropping videos okay y'all like them y'all like them y'all don't y'all don't but i'm dropping my videos i'm dropping them and then next month yeah, I said prank war is probably going to come back, but I'm going to still be consistent with y'all. I'm going to keep it consistent, and we're going to keep it rocking. I hope y'all keep following me, keep watching me, keep liking my videos. And yeah, until next time, y'all, I am out.